Hello and, wel- hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Uh, today I have another beer from Resident Culture Brewing Company out of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called Country Kind of Silence. Uh, I don't know if you can see up top there, it's, uh, it says a Hellas Lager. And on the can here it says 4.7, um, on the website it said 4.75, I'm not sure which is true, but obviously that's very close, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and on the description it just says German style Hellas Lager, which, uh, pretty straightforward, it is what it is, so. I'm gonna crack this bad boy open and see what we got. I was actually excited for this because they hadn't canned, um, any, uh, lagers in, in a little while. Uh, they had been generally coming out with one, like, every can release they did, but... Uh, the last couple were just IPAs and, like, kettle sours, and then also, of course, they did the, uh, um, I have no idea why I'm trying a, a Lonely Universe, the, uh, the Imperial Stout, too, but, <coughs> don't get me wrong, all the other stuff that they were releasing were really great beers, I just always like when they do the lagers, too. So, as you can see, it pours a, um, a nice, uh, golden color it's actually a little darker than most hellas's are um hellas's are usually that sounds like such a strange word to say plural uh hellas's um they're usually pretty pretty uh light um but this one seems a little darker it had uh, a little bit of a white head but it dissipated pretty quickly um but as you can see it's um completely transparent which should be really for lager. <clears throat> it smells really nice. Um, the the biggest thing is really like um, I mean, there's definitely like some pale two row in there, but there's also a little bit of uh, and it probably lends to the the color being a little darker too. A little bit of like a toasty malt. Um, I mean, it's not it's not to the point where it's like caramely. But it is a little toasty. It's a, it's definitely darker than just like a, a straight Pilsner malt. Um, and there is a little bit of a earthy, spicy, noble hop character too. It's very clean. Um... It has, <coughs> excuse me, it has a little bit of that, like, um, tortilla chip, like, corn character, uh, but, I, I mean, I, knowing them, there's def, I'm assuming there's no corn in this beer, uh, but that is kind of, like, the sweetness of the malt is kind of reminding me of, um, reminding me of, like, a corn flavor. Like, it, it is sweet up front, um, it's not quite as dry as, like, a, a standard Pilsner, uh, <clears throat> but I generally get that from Hellas, that it's a little sweeter than a standard Pilsner, um, <clears throat> and then it does finish with a really nice, uh, spicy, um, earthy, noble hop character that balances out, uh, the bitterness is pretty much perfect to balance out that little bit of a sweet, little bit of sweetness, uh, I'm just trying to think in terms of all the different loggers that they've done. Excuse me. Um, definitely my favorite, without a doubt, that they've done was the um, Pills Don't Pay Bills. Uh, that was honestly one of my favorite American uh, versions of a Pilsner period. I mean, it was up there with some of the best victory ones. Uh, and then... My second favorite, uh, I it came in, it had like a white label. It was kind of like a white label like this, but it had like flowers on it and stuff. I can't re- recall what it was, but that was probably my second favorite. I really, really loved that. But this is probably third. Um, this is definitely better than like the lo-fi, like the the uh, the light lager that they tried to do, which was still good for what it was. But I mean, this is definitely um, something that I would much rather drink like several of. You know, 
it's interesting, like, that the hop character in the middle almost has, like, a perfumey um, note. I'd be curious to know what uh, hops are in this. Um, it's very, very good. Uh, and the other thing, too, like, I guess it depends what you want. If you're trying to drink a session beer, um, then, of course, you want it to be low in alcohol, but you might also want it to be low in, like, heft, like, feel like it's super light and you can just throw a bunch back. Because, I mean, it may be you're sacrificing that to get the flavor of this, but it is kind of, he like, to me, it's, it's kind of heavy for a, uh, like a pale lager type beer. Um, I would guess that it was more than 4.7. I would guess it's like five and a half maybe, uh. And it's not, it's not like syrupy or there's not like flaws in it, but it's, it's just, it's pretty full bodied for, for a lager. Um, and when I say lager, I understand lagers can be many different things. I understand you got doppel box, Baltic porters, whatever, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying in general terms of what mo like the average person says lager, they're talking about like pale lager type thing, Pilsner, Hellas, um, land beer, that kind of thing, uh. It is pretty uh, full bodied for for that style. I mean, it might also be. I, mean, I feel it like in the mouth feel that it's hefty for that style, but it might also be because because I honestly um just ate dinner not too long ago, so my stomach's kind of full in general. So that might be I might be perceiving that the beer is is full um, rather than just the fact that I'm kind of full while I'm drinking it, but. This is very good, very very good. Um, I would. Uh, this was twelve ninety nine a four pack, so what's that? Um, Three twenty five a can. Excuse me. Uh, I would absolutely buy this again, and I when I get out there next weekend, uh, if they still have some, I might buy some more, or I might not because I heard that they're. Um, they may be releasing a new, uh, a new uh, German style Pilsner, so I might uh, get that instead, or get both. I'll, I'll, I'm not sure, but uh, this this is really good. It's another uh, bang and lager by these guys. You know, everyone knows about them for their hops, uh, and not that they're that well known, but the people, who, most people who do know about them, especially people who don't live in Charlotte proper, um, know about them for their their hops because people send out their IPA cans, but. Man, I, mean, I will say probably the best thing that they do might be their IPAs, but like the, they're doing a lot of great lagers. If you like kettle sour stuff, their kettle sours are best, probably like the best that I've ever had. And just any of the American Wild stuff is really, uh, for such a young program, they're doing some really, really great stuff. So anyone who has not been there, if you're ever in the Charlotte area, or you need to check it out or um, or find someone... They package a lot of stuff so you can easily get cans. It doesn't sell out right away either, uh, which is nice. And it's not because it's not great beer. There's just such a so many breweries around Charlotte that do like constant releases that it's hard for anyone to like buy everything that comes out. So yeah, they're pretty accessible. Or shoot me a message on here, and I'd be glad to send a box your way. So just uh, just letting everyone know that they're doing some really great stuff, and you should check them out. But I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.